So in this video, we're looking at a very similar problem to last time. We've got the same mass block, 5 kilos, falls from rest from a shelf 10 meters above the ground. So that's the same scenario as before. But now, the block experiences a constant air resistance of 12 newtons. So we can have a 12 newton force acting against the direction of motion. Find the speed with which the block hits the ground. Now, you could still solve this using uh, first year, well, A-level maths techniques. Um, by, first of all, you'd have to work out the acceleration. So you'd have to resolve vertically to work out the acceleration of the block. Then you could use SUVAT. Okay? But we're going to use uh, an energy method. So, we have the initial GPE plus the initial kinetic energy, plus or minus the work done by any of the forces in the direction of motion is equal to the final GPE plus the final kinetic energy. OK, so the initial GPE is mgh. So we're going to have 5g times h, which is 10. It's 10 metres higher initially. Now, the initial kinetic energy, because it's falling from rest, means that that's going to be zero. Then we've got the work done. Now, remember, the weight is already uh, included within uh, the GPE that we've calculated there. So we don't need to work out an extra bit for the work done for weight. However, the air resistance is acting in the direction of motion, or against the direction of motion. So, we're going to have take away 12 times 10. So that is taking energy out of the system. Okay, so hence it's negative. Then you've got the final gravitational potential energy. When it hits the ground, that will be zero, plus the final kinetic energy, which will be 1 half times 5 times v squared. So, we have 50g take away 120 is equal to 5 halves v squared. OK. So, if I do 50 divided through by 5 halves, I'm going to get 20g, 120 divided by 5 halves is 48 is equal to v squared. So v will be the square root of 20g take away 48. And if we plug in g as 9.8, we get 2 root 37 meters per second, which is 12.2 meters per second to three significant figures. Now, the previous answer that we got was 14 metres per second, and there was no air resistance. So you can see that the air resistance would cause the block to be moving slower when it hits the ground.